Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for all watching the previous video. This is a full and extended version of the last video with Priyanka. But we have a more exciting news for you. We're preparing an internship course which is going to come very soon on my channel and through Gradly. It's going to be huge. It's going to be great. It's going to be super useful for the people who are coming to US for fall 18, for fall 19 as well. But for fall 18, it will be really important. So stay tuned for that. Enjoy this video and let's just get into it hey guys welcome to another video and in this video i have priyanka with me uh, Priyanka has worked at Apple. She has done a summer internship and a co-op. So that's my, that means she has worked for eight months at Apple HQ. And um, as soon as I found out, I was like, I have to bring the, her on the channel and share her experience with everyone. I have a set of questions for her and we're gonna discuss that. It's going to be a long one, but I'm going to also link up link of SoundCloud so that you can listen to it as well when you're traveling or when you're doing your work so that you just don't have to watch this and you can just listen to it. Priyanka, I would like you to introduce yourself. Hi, I am Priyanka. Uh, I am an engineering management student here at Purdue uh, with concentration in mechanical engineering. Um, my main focus is uh, product design and consumer electronics. And I did my undergrad uh, in mechanical engineering in mm -hmm. MESR Engineering College affiliated to Osmania University in Hyderabad. Let's talk about uh, how's the experience working at Apple. I think it was very was... challenging and it was also very rewarding. Uh, first of all, um, it, it was like raising the bar, your own personal mm -hmm. bar. So uh, I knew that coming into masters, I was straight away interested in product design. So mm -hmm. everything I used to do, like eat, breathe, sleep, uh, think about product design mm -hmm. and how I could get like an internship in there yeah. and because my program at Purdue requires you to get a co-op uh, or it, it it's like a it's not requiring you to get a co-op after first semester but uh, if you do get a co-op it will be extended to a two-year program so I I if so it was a personal goal to get a co-op by the end of the first semester so and I was like I wanted to get in product design and and so I took courses regarding to product design and stuff like that and mm -hmm. the internship happened and it was exactly uh, what it described to be uh, really? it is yeah you definitely experience silicon valley to the fullest also i think the biggest takeaway was the people mm -hmm. uh, so in my undergrad i was surrounded with uh, students who are not necessarily ambitious in nature mm -hmm. uh, i'm pretty sure you would also uh, to it. Yeah, yeah there were a lot of people who just wanted to do an id job which is not bad in any way but it was not what i wanted to do um, so but when you see people that they want to do something and they're good at what they do and you, you can see their hard work their passion and what they do and they're also very interesting people so i think that was the biggest takeaway to actually meet those kind of people and learn from them and how their background is so different from mine hmm. So that was that was great. Talk about your first day. Like I, I feel like first days are the most intimidating one. You think like everything you're doing could turn out to be in a very embarrassing moment. It was. <laughs> it was very embarrassing. So uh, Apple gives free accommodation to interns. So I, I, so I was there like one day before my internship started. But I did not know who my manager was. I never had a contact until then. Mm -hmm. uh, and then. Uh, I, I did not know what to do, so I had to like, what, <laughs> like I'm there in the apartment that they gave me, and I'm like, where do I go now? <laughs> and uh, so I contacted HR, and then I met my manager, and then first day is basically they'll not allow you anywhere without a badge. Hmm. So that badge is more important than your passport. You need to guard it with life. You can't go anywhere without the badge. Like, not a single door can be crossed without the badge. Really? Yeah. And like you won't get access to all over Apple even if you work for Apple, uh, unless you're Tim Cook. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's, so yeah, that badge is very important. So right away they give you a badge. They check your, uh, uh, they check all your documents, whether you have your assistant, you have your work permits and stuff like that. Without that, there's n there's no work. There's nothing going to happen. And 
they give you a badge right away and they give you a t-shirt that says apple class of 2018 okay and with and, apple logo yeah and then there's like a presentation of uh of how you know think different from apple and you know all the different basically giving you an orientation of apple's culture and rules a lot of rules <laughs> in fact uh, my um, offer letter was at least 40 pages 40 pages yeah wow i mean, mo- I mean the actual offer was i think like two pages but, but most like, of it was like you know uh, intellectual property signs mm. and uh, stuff like uh, benefits but uh, all that and but overall it was like a huge package confidentiality no yeah so. and you were constantly reminded that in orientation also that you know you have to be very confidential about whatever everything yeah they, 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 there is like a bar graph that show how many people get fired usually and it's it's because you, of that you you would talk about that bar graph i don't exactly remember the numbers it's more than any or uh, since i've yeah, seen yeah, that okay. but it's like so they'll show you uh, a bar graph um, and there is this huge uh, uh, bar and there is a small bar and they will ask you to guess which bar is uh, corresponds to the number of fires that happened due to leaks and stuff like that it's sad it's sad but it's the it's it's the larger one and it's not like a small it's not like a small difference it's like pretty pretty high yeah that's scary it, it, it is very in fact it, there were so many times during my internship also I had to be super scared of what you can't even talk about it with Your you friends, can't right? yeah friends with an apple also you can't speak with an apple with an apple also you can't speak about what you do department department wise yeah i mean department you can speak but yeah. uh, outside your department you can't. need to know basis only they are very strict with yeah very very keeping strict keeping it secret it <laughs> is which is next uh, what is going to be on the next iphone 11 i don't know <laughs> i knew what was on 10 but <laughs> now 10 is out <laughs> oh you were actually working on 10 Uh, I worked in the uh, cable accessories uh, and uh, power accessories department. Okay. So I did not work on the ten. I worked on the accessories, like cable accessories. So do you you product. work for the department who who removed the headphone jack? No, that kind that of. decision is the industrial designs decision. Um, what? How do I tell you whether the headphone jack should be there or not? is the industrial designs uh, and the iphone teams a uh, decision mm-hmm. uh we just design cables we just design cables <laughs> <laughs> and uh, things like magsafe and stuff like that uh, so yeah. your magsafe cables and magsafe like is that. the power cord of macbooks like the older macbooks at least which are which were revolutionary i still think like even if you trip in the cable your laptop won't come fly off which will happen if you are using a new one though yeah i was taking a course called product and process design an online course while i was doing my internship mm-hmm. and uh, there is uh, there are assignments that the professor gives you uh, to every week that you need to identify good and bad designs mm-hmm. i wrote like a whole report on why the magsafe was a good design and why was it a bad design did you write that as well no the bad design is a different one okay. uh, but the good design was the magsafe and i got I got very less marks for it because I was supposed to write only a page and I wrote three pages. What was the best? Let's talk about the best moment you had at Apple. Like this, this, this is the best moment of my eight months. Did There you get so to see Tim Cook I, first before? I saw many, many Tim Cook many times. Really? So there are these things called beer bashes at Apple. Mm-hmm. I sound a very spoiled, privileged Silicon Valley <laughs> brat, but I don't know if I'm returning to Silicon Valley anymore. <laughs> uh, so beer bashes at Apple every three months. Actually, whenever they get a chance, really. Mm. Environment Day, uh, Diversity Day, then like any they, day, to any, day the, any chance to celebrate. Uh, they just have like. overflowing amount of beer snacks and they bring musicians 
famous musicians i saw demi lovato stevie wonder and it was Rath. just for a just for like apple employees yeah thing, right? so it's like a concert only for apple employees and um so tim cook comes he's like uh, like a rock star he gives like a speech and stuff like that there was a there was a beer bash uh, only for interns uh, during the last week of summer mm-hmm. so yeah so i i did see it tim cook pretty time. there's also oh there's also executive speaker series that apple does for mm-hmm. interns mm-hmm. so um it is there during the winter time also like the, because there are interns during the winter too but mm-hmm. more during the summer like mm-hmm. the c level execs come during the summer it is uh so it uh, apple has huge auditoriums uh, what is in the campus this, what do you mean by c level ceo cfo ceo okay. gotcha gotcha my bad yeah um you know johnny ives uh, level of execs but uh, so there are like these huge auditoriums with an apple and it's filled with interns and these execs come they tell their stories they tell or they do like a q and a session or they talk about their life uh their career paths and stuff like that so you get to learn a lot from them actually i learned so much about apple culture during uh those exec series so there was one with uh tim cook and he was like you already know most of my life so hmm. we'll just do a q and a nice i don't really know how to pinpoint but i i felt uh my final presentation of my project was uh one of those defining moments also because uh i i i mean being an int- like when you go for internships and stuff like that they don't give you important stuff to do i mean they do give you important stuff uh but it won't break you mm. or make you uh sort of work um but i got to work the kind of work i got was pretty cool I, I, so it was basically like defining what would happen with that technology sort of thing and that was pretty cool because it it is not like a revision of what people have done before or it is not uh it it it, it is not exactly like your standard process or something like that i was actually uh getting my hands dirty and creating something new and that was that was challenging i got to learn a lot through that process and when i presented it uh it it, it felt nice it felt like i accomplished a lot sweet that's awesome so from hyderabad to podium how was that transition because that's very important like it was easier for me because i've studied uh mm-hmm. my undergrad in thailand and i've been living out for a while but how was it for you what was your experience like for me it was pretty easy to be very honest uh, okay it was pretty easy because 21 or years of my life have been in hyderabad and i wanted to get out <laughs> <laughs> true story uh we will just sonic true about it <laughs> yeah. uh, i i i really wanted to explore the world my undergrad also was i was like a day scholar so uh, mm. i was home i did not really get to experience college okay. life uh, exactly and also uh, yeah i i just wanted to spread my wings move somewhere and it was about time others would get mad uh, mm. i would definitely go mad if i still stayed in hyderabad No, so you don't like it at all it's not that you don't like it but after you you are in the same place for a long time mm-hmm. you just get bored of it you've seen everything of it yeah true you just you just grow out of it you yeah. you, you just grow out of that place i feel like keep move keeping yourself moving to a new place like it's too short for not doing that yeah it's too short for not doing that exactly and i got what i wanted from hyderabad in the sense like i just oh, grew out of it and So coming to Purdue was pretty easy, and it was not a, a huge culture shock either because I was pretty exposed to American culture through shows. Yeah. And uh, English is my first language in, in school, and I speak to my dad in English. That's weird, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's. So when I was a kid, I did not know how to speak English very well. So I used to speak to my dad in English to get used to speaking in English well. So uh, and it just became a habit. Uh, it's kind of weird to speak to my dad in telugu now uh, i do speak to my other family i mean my other family members in telugu but uh, so english was not a huge problem and there's a pretty good indian community here at podio also so 
you don't feel that out of place that was also something very unique about apple i had very less people indian interactions when i was at apple do you think that's a good thing yes i think that's a really good thing i i very less in fact i would say 1% of the people i met when i was in california were indian uh and on, on that note i like i feel like that because it's very easy to get in that bubble and comfort zone with indians and if you don't have any indians for example when i went for the next in some instance we and this happened to me that there were no indians living it mm-hmm. with my like among 100 people there was one indian guy and we didn't even live on the same floors yeah so we didn't talk ever and that's where i used to hang out more with the international learned so much more about them learned so much more cultures and made it easier for me to make the transition to here and even now like if i want to go to any country literally i have a friend there yeah so yeah i made a lot of canadian friends hmm. um, when i was at apple hmm. and the, the thing about it is uh, over here in my first semester there were a lot of indian students uh, in especially in engineering you would find a lot of grad students who are indian and, uh, and not an in native uh, students mm-hmm. and i felt 99% of my interactions were with indians so i did not mm-hmm. feel a lot different but when i went to apple i guess that was the real cultural shock for me because i never really worked in a proper office or corporate culture before mm-hmm. so that was a shock and silicon valley itself is a shock uh, and then yeah there were there were there were no indian there were no indians in my team there were no indians within 5 miles of me <laughs> so uh i had to learn to be, yeah i had to learn to communicate differently and you know because there were so many different cultures i got to experience so much more also mm-hmm. and uh yeah like parth was saying uh, you literally make so many new friends from different cultures that also you become open to different cultures suddenly uh yeah and i feel like in india this is common but we make a lot of jokes within uh, different regions also but you tend to not do that <laughs> when uh, you meet different people uh, and that's because you become very aware of your surroundings yeah you you, that you something understand might offend some yeah. the struggles that people are going through uh, in in different cultures and You, you don't want to make fun of that true yeah. let's talk about uh, your bachelor's a little bit what did you do as a bachelor's degree and mm-hmm. uh, did you intern every time and what projects did you do so uh, i interned at two places i interned at nuclear fuel complex in hyderabad and i also interned at iit hyderabad and i did a research project uh I would definitely say that they contributed a lot in shaping where I wanted to go. Uh it it is very weird because uh if you look at my career background, I it does it doesn't say that I have focus on one place. What did you what's your bachelor's degree? It's uh, mechanical engineering. Mechanical. Yeah. So, uh I start I nuclear fuel complex was manufacturing heavy and then IIT Hyderabad was finite element analysis composites mm-hmm. and then i did um sai baha i did not do baha i'm sorry uh, i did sai eco cart uh, and then i did sola cart so these are automobile related projects mm-hmm. um so i i was like trying to hit and see which one uh, resonates with me the most with the mechanical engineering uh i chose mechanical because i initially wanted to do aerospace engineering and there are not good universities in india for aerospace engineering that you can get easily i mean not get in get in easily so i had to choose mechanical for that and when i did go to mechanical i realized oh you can be a mechanical engineer and still work on you know in uh, space related fields but then i quickly realized that was not really the direction i was vibing it with anymore mm. uh, and so i was like seeing okay automobiles not really my scene uh manufacturing maybe uh but not so much and then uh i tried research and I, it was a strong no uh, <laughs> 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 uh never again uh and then i did some product design projects and i was like okay so i like consumer facing things 
uh, I like when uh, my work directly uh, affects uh, a consumer or I can see the change that I've done. So I was like product design. Mm. And so this was the time I also wanted, uh, I always knew I wanted to do masters. So even from like day one of undergrad, I was like trying to see which path would be more effective to get a good, uh, you know, get a good admission in mm. a college. So I used to take part in a lot of things, a lot of extracurriculars, which, which is also kind of my personality. I don't like sticking to one thing. So even over here, uh, I take part in many things as much oh, as possible. Oh yeah, interesting story. I met Priyanka at TEDx event. I'm actually wearing that T-shirt, but it's yeah. with me. <laughs> I met her at the TEDx event. She looked at me like the way you look at somebody who you have met before. I was like. Have I seen her before? Have I met her before? And she's like, oh, I've seen your YouTube videos. She watched the uh, video of MEM with Rachna. Because I'm an MEM too. Yeah. Yeah. So I was uh, searching about product management. I was searching from engineering to product management because I want to switch to product management. Mm -hmm. It took engineering management and one of the first results were Rachna and Parth's video mm -hmm. in the first page and I know Rachna so I was like wait Rachna is in a YouTube video <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was like <laughs> and because she then, is the only one who I knew studying at Cranard okay that that time because she's I she's roommate so I uh, I am a batch before uh, Rachna yeah so one more thing I want to ask um, do you think interning at dif like at different places with different so you did research, a little mm -hmm. technical as well. Was that important, or do you want? Do you think that sticking to one thing might have helped me? Like sticking to one kind of work, like only research or only technical, or it really depends on what you want to do. I would say really, uh, because I have a friend who's like really into research. Mm -hmm. So for him, being very focused on what kind of subject. Uh, he dealt with and stuff like that helped mm -hmm. him a lot mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, for me I had to choose different things because I did not know wh what I which direction I wanted to take really mm -hmm. I don't know I would say it really depends mm -hmm. I, it, it, there are some advantages of exploring uh, mm -hmm. different fields and mm -hmm. there are some advantages of just being focused mm -hmm. when you the advantage of being focused is that uh when you put so much time and effort into something, you keep getting better. Mm -hmm. So uh, you keep getting better and until you become an expert in that field. So so that is really positive. But mm -hmm. uh, the advantages of exploring, again, it really depends on your personality. For me, I get bored with things easily. Oh, uh, I find for that. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, do, I like doing different projects. I, I like... I don't, I like change. I don't like being settled with something. Mm -hmm. So for me, it works being exploring and doing different stuff. I think that's important as well. So it all, it it does really depend on an individual basis. If you want to do research. So I had this thing that in first year, I wanted to do research. That I want, might want to do master and PhD as well. But then over the time, it fluctuated. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I finished my capstone project, I was like, I can't do this anymore. Again. What's a capstone project? It's like a undergrad thesis. Okay. So it's similar to this thesis, mm -hmm. but I had to write a 90 page thesis on that. I'm like, I can't do this again. And as soon as they gave me an option for here to drop my thesis, mm -hmm. uh, I was like, no, I'll just take a thesis option. For me, MEM is like a happy coincidence. I uh, I thought I wanted to do research and stuff like that. That is why I did the internship with IIT Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then my final year project also was research related. Uh, the uh, There were a lot of changes that happened in my fourth year of engineering. Mm -hmm. For me, I knew that I wanted a more MBA facing, a little more um, management uh, focused study instead of pure engineering. Mm -hmm. So I was looking at University of Houston. I got an admission into mechanical engineering with thesis, but I wanted to switch to IE plus MBA. And then I applied to Purdue. I didn't expect I'd get into Purdue. Mm. And I, ex I applied to Purdue Mechanical Engineering, but uh, they gave me an admission into MEM. Exactly like Rachna. Yeah. And I was like, perfect. 
you <laughs> i don't get to do yeah i don't get to do uh, you know a thesis plus instead of thesis i get to do management subjects then um, i i got to do consulting for bridgestone so i really like the yeah, talk about experience here as well like let's yeah. talk about um, what added up to apple or what other thing except for your internship with apple you did like your projects here so my uh, audio journey has been very eventful so far uh, i as soon as i came here within within one month i got my bridgestone so there is something called eli experiential learning initiative mm-hmm. uh, that cranor does so they hire engineers higher in the sense you don't get paid but you get credits uh, yeah. so there are different industries that come and they do uh, and they give consulting projects to students and uh, so you're basically doing consulting work for free but you're also learning a lot you're getting that corporate exposure and there are there are actual problems that the company is facing so i i got to do that with bridgestone uh, in my first semester and then i worked in the c design lab uh, for one of uh, professor ramani's projects and then um, and then apple happened yeah apple happened. what are your plans for summer my plans is to chill for a while uh, <laughs> and uh then hopefully get back into working world either doing product management or design engineering okay moving on to the next question uh so priyanka what wha- what do you think that did one small thing made a difference uh in your it to getting to the apple point mm-hmm. or were there like a lot of things which just added up and compounded over years and suddenly happened and people think that way that okay she got as soon as she got into purdue she got into apple and that is not the case so i would like you to discuss on that uh definitely one thing did not make a difference i know we have this mentality uh in indian education that if you do this you get this hmm. if you do this you get this and uh but that's not always the case you need to keep getting at something and life keeps evolving and you, you get things um for me uh when it came to apple definitely the kind of projects that i did the fact that i did so many different projects helped a lot uh because i did not know which direction i wanted to go so i did a lot hmm. because i i was really adamant about finding what i wanted to do do you think they looked at them? yeah like they do like that's very fo- i i feel like companies look at what you have how you have modified yourself according to different uh different subjects different part of your internships your subjects not really so much no one cares <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about your interview as well in that case yeah so but like uh yeah diff- how you work with different companies and have you worked in different fields yeah definitely the, the kind of different projects i did design projects or it, so when you look at my resume you can see that i've done a lot of projects so i definitely got my hands dirty out of my classroom so that is very important i think for any employer not just apple uh know that you can up, you can take classroom knowledge and apply it in different projects mm. uh and when when it and all those little projects they combined into speaking points the kind so when you're doing product design and when you're looking at solving a problem having a singular uh library of knowledge is not enough you need to have uh you need to have knowledge in different fields also to draw your inspiration from there and up- apply it so in that way it helped uh and yeah overall i, I really life keeps evolving there's nothing if you do a you will get a result x does not happen uh, there there are a lot of small things that uh, come into the equation uh and for me even now also i feel like because i did an internship at apple something else has not resulted yet uh, it is still evolving uh because i did that i understand now that i i i was right about my experimentation uh that i i like doing consumer facing things mm-hmm. uh so 
but now i want to be on the strategy side and not just on the designing side mm. so now i understand that okay what i want to do is product management mm. and now whatever i do next mm. is going to compound that and Into this, yeah. yeah yeah that's that's amazing that's that's how it it works and um on that note i want to emphasize that internships are really important and if you are like a first year second year person who's watching this work work for like every summer when you're getting off from college even if you don't have 3 months even if you have like a month of holidays because some universities do that in india for some reason yeah also attend classes don't bunk classes yeah cuz grades matter in some cases it's not about grades it's just good manners it's uh why did you not that's right <laughs> huh? i feel like you didn't attend classes that's why you're saying no that. i used to attend classes and i used to get made fun of it for that and of you of you no one okay so when you come to masters of your you don't miss classes unless mm-hmm. you are like really busy with something right so why are you showing the discipline here and not in your bachelors yeah oh yeah there is a huge difference in that case like people yeah. just transform you and being and i feel being nerd in india still not in india it's not even nerdy it's like you're paying tuition so, yeah. fee and you're not attending why yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> it's privilege to go to college you're draining your own. well yeah for sure it and is. i don't know and what are you doing watching a movie just sitting on grass like wh- why <laughs> such a waste of time i feel like i've wasted so much time in my undergrad no, it's okay i've just wasted so much so much time in my undergrad which could have been used for something exponential fun fact priyanka has worked as child actor let's yes. talk about <laughs> <laughs> Do you mention it in interviews like I, I actually yeah there is a section in my resume that says uh extra curriculars and it talks about my kuchpudi and hmm. wow. acting yeah So for the people from who are watching from um who are Telugu speakers which movies are those Gemini I I'm, I was a kid I was like literally a the little you child know, what do you notice <laughs> yeah i had probably like one line or two uh, so gemini now pri these are very old movies uh, and then wow i don't even remember uh, then there was a film called 11 kantalu and then and i don't Nobody know some small remember. parts here and there that's yeah. awesome uh, one tip for the future engineers who are coming here i would definitely say uh, I understand coming to US or coming to uh doing masters does mean I mean you're coming here for both for success for monetary reasons for lifestyle those are the main reasons uh I, of course there are main reasons for me also but I also say that the subject that you're doing is also important otherwise you lose that drive somewhere mm-hmm. and and you need to keep at it you need to be hustling you need to keep moving there is no being comfortable once you come here true 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 yeah not a second of it yeah if you start to settle down you can right away see that your progress is being stalled mm. yeah and, and that's coming from personal experience so and yeah okay one more point i think this is very important to bring on that um how much do you think networking affects a lot uh for me on applying online has resulted in nothing no. nothing yeah. uh i mean many people say apply for 1000 jobs 2000 jobs no it comes from one more thing i i, I feel like one of those uh, previous questions that we had about little things mattering a lot mm-hmm. so uh, when it comes to networking one thing great about what engineering management did that we had a great advisor uh, and he was he used to he used to like coach us on you know how to speak with uh, company representatives when they come for career fairs or when they come for uh, networking sessions and stuff like that avm does a really good job in that right? very good job with that uh, he, very hands on approach of you know looking at your resumes and stuff like that so uh, every small thing when the career, the first career fair came up I, i it it was like we were beast people who were in engineering management mm-hmm. or at least uh, i felt my batch was yeah. i don't know about the rest of the batches but uh, i was lost i was completely lost in the first career fair uh for for me it was like 
like game plan on it mm. was like go talk to every single person mm. so i i already knew what what clicks with people what does not click with people and that happens when you talk to people like you know otherwise let's say you have like this dream company and they came for career fair and that's the first company you oh, go and talk to you are going to mess up because you're going to be stuck there because you're very excited to talk to them so rubbish starts coming out of your mouth yeah and you don't know when to stop what to not talk about and what to focus on yeah and that so as i mentioned in one of my career fair videos as well like i don't go to the companies which i'm looking for mm-hmm. at the first moment for the first five companies i'm going to in the career fair i'll go to like the random companies i don't want to apply they're not even taking international students like i go to them get my mouth ready for the companies and get uh, get in the vibe yeah definitely so for me the first two days of my first career fair were like that hmm. was going and talking to people giving my resume and just just talking and then when apple came to podio they had like an apple day at podio so every Why did i take so much <laughs> <laughs> So uh they had like an apple day at Podio and of course it's a huge sign it's apple so uh, they had like a whole north ballroom booked up in this building uh, that we are sitting in right now mm-hmm. and uh th- th- there were lines of people and there were only a handful of recruiters so uh, we were stand standing yeah we had to just like stand there uh and they just took your resume they said hi bye gone uh but i wasn't happy with that so i stayed back until all of them left and mm. uh i wasn't happy at all that you know i did not get to talk to this person mm. and i wanted to talk and make an impression uh so i stayed back and then i actually had like a nice conversation because th- there were no longer students hurdling up i was mm-hmm. the last person there yeah and they're closing down for the day so i got to have a nice conversation with the recruiter yeah and that's what ultimately let me to have get an interview one? who was picked from podium no from the, MEM? no 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 there were a couple of podium students from mem yes i was the only one who nice. went to apple but it's awesome uh actually with the grad students also i think i was the only one at apple during when i was doing the internship uh, i did not see other okay. podium grad students yeah, i'm pretty sure yeah but you were sure. there for 8 months right yeah so uh, there were two undergrad students three four undergrad students from different branches that i saw that's awesome so making t- taking time and putting effort makes a difference it's yeah just... it like i got into that groove of you know talking to people like even with my phone interview also like like i was speaking to so many people i was speaking to uh, because i was doing my brainstorm project also at the time i was talking to actually you know grown up people who are so i know how to talk to people and you know what is the wrong thing to say or what's the right thing to say like you were saying so i know what gets their attention so that works yeah ask me what yeah so priyanka has a blog which she would like you to check out uh it's called pep talk station mm-hmm. and it just went live so show her some love go to the blog check it out uh she's going to talk more about it just like give it a quick brief of what is it so about? uh around last year i started to feel that i i started to feel down because i did not know where i was going in life like i often do uh and i started to miss uh my friends back in hyderabad and uh, i had like a support system back there uh, which i felt was kind of lacking because i was moving so often over here in the us so i started a blog with my friend sharada it's called pep talk station uh it is kind of a way uh that we both lift each other up and at the same time uh lift each other up and then uh also use like different tools that you know self help gurus and stuff like that uh mm-hmm. and people uh, like that recommend and kind of try that into our daily life and then slowly get out of the funk and conquer life yeah i'm going to link priyanka's instagram account is that fine Yeah. yeah bring us instagram account here please don't bash her with questions like technical questions she's going to link her blog there in her profile so you can check it out also linking it in the description and check that out as well her mom has a youtube channel 
which yeah. is a cooking channel. My mom has so, a cooking channel. So if you're Hi, interested, mommy. <laughs> so <laughs> you're if you're interested in like if you're coming here and if you're thinking what to cook, maybe you can check that out. Uh, She's a good cook, and she has a lot of videos. Yeah, gonna gonna link it that down. It's in well. Telugu though. It's <laughs> in <laughs> Telugu. Yeah. All right. Um, gonna end it here. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and hope you. This was interesting. SoundCloud link is in the description. If it's too long, just uh, thank you for that. bearing with my voice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, until then, I'll see you in the next one.